I just like the actual idea of sitting down and cutting things out. Again, it's that being in the moment and, and sticking naked male torsos onto polka dot paper with a beautiful flocked border. That's what I enjoy doing in my downtime. You know when you sit in the car in the silence after the school bell goes and you can just hear your own, I do that, I, that's, and then I go home and I just look forward to the caffeine hit I know I'm about to get. You know, I make the coffee, there's froth in the coffee, I love froth, you know, it's the little things that excite me and I slam that in and I'm a new woman. That's it. I, you know, every day is really different for me, as I'm sure it is for you guys as well. But most days I'm running around like an absolute headless chook. And I just love that minute where I can sit down with my coffee and a little bit of a treat, like, you know, a little brownie or a little cookie or something like that. And I just savor that like nothing else because it's the one minute where I can just breathe. I absolutely love putting my feet up and just catching up on every single TV show that I've missed that day or the night before. I just can't stay up at night anymore. I like fall asleep in the middle of all my favourite shows. So I record all of them. And then as soon as the kids are home and they're running around the house and they've gone nuts, I just sit down, catch up and just like feel like I'm part of the world again. I like to scrapbook and that is not a joke. <laughs> really? I scrapbook. I'm a crafty lady. I go to craft exhibitions in my downtime. I'd love to see one of your scrapbooks. You'll have to like, I send in a photo. I want to see this too. I had a wall of just the Australian swim team's abs when the Olympics were on. So then I made that into a scrapbook. I played a lot of touch footy and you actually can't think about anything else during touch footy because you've got so many people running at you all the time. There's a ball. Like, I find that really meditative in a really weird way. I know it's not cutting abs out of magazines, but it's good enough for me. You're getting the abs. You're creating the abs by doing the work. So you don't need to look at pictures of abs because you've probably got them. No, I don't have them, I promise you. Where are the abs? 